two are boarding. These are two corn snakes. There's one in there. Yeah. These these guys are actually kind of pretty flighty. Yeah. So. We'll get them out. <laughs> yeah. I don't need them out. And oh, that's what it's out about. This is a Dumer boa oh, that was cute. dropped off, and I'm getting him back to weight and everything. He's beautiful. And we used to breed these. We used to breed the Dumer boas, but they are pretty cool. These are the blood pythons that we haven't put on the floor yet. How many did she have? She had 19. 19, holy cow. Okay. Here's one of her babies. But they're all, and they all have varying patterns and stuff like that. So pretty. But yeah, they're actually pretty mellow for for blood well, pythons. They're captive bred, so yeah. yeah. These are some ball pythons that we hatch right here. This is just normal. Mm -hmm. And they just actually had their first meal on Tuesday. So these will be going out for sale probably in about two or three weeks. We used to, we like to get about four meals in them at least. This is our ghost boa and she's been having issues with shedding and, and she went off feed for a while. Yeah. So we're trying to get her back up to weight. She lost a considerable amount of weight. Mm -hmm. But uh, she looks like she's about ready to peel. Yeah she's kind of in that process of, of shedding so I'll, I'll be soaking her yeah. the next day or two. Yeah I bet you it'll all come off with a good soak. And she used to be really mellow, but she has gotten a severe attitude now. She will flat out bite you in a second, which I don't know how that all happened. But then we have a boarding, long-term boarding ball python down here. It's uh, one of our customers that's in the military. They're in Germany now. Yeah. And we'll be boarding that one for three years. It's been here for about a year now. Mm -hmm. But uh, that snake's probably almost 30 years old. So I think when they dropped it off, it was about 20. So it's about 28 years old. Wow. And these are baby corn snakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're all like, let's go. Yeah, these kind of can be a little bit flighty too. But that's okay. Is that butter? Yep, that's a butter. That's a butter. Not very really yellow butters. They're no, like more, I think more he's, of the pinkish. Yeah, I think he's getting ready to go into a shed. So what's the thing you hate when people do when they enter your snake room? They, they enter it without your permission? Um, yeah, they're not supposed to. <laughs> we keep this room locked. There's only, yeah. I think, two people that have a key. Um, and I keep all my supplies in here. I just, sometimes people borrow stuff and they don't put it back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of a... You will face the wrath of Phil. Yeah, that's it, kind so. of a, an aggravation thing, but... But, and then plus we have customer snakes in here, so we don't want to take the chance of somebody coming in here and possibly getting a snake for resale when they grab the wrong one and they sell one of our customer snakes that they weren't supposed to. Yeah, this is or something sure, like that. Yeah, this makes um, sure that if you board a snake with us, it doesn't get mixed up. And that's about it right now. Yeah. It's kind of winding down to the end of the breeding season, so we don't have a whole lot in here. A lot of times, these are pretty much full, you know, like the blood pythons or corn snakes or ball pythons and, and stuff like that. So. Well, thanks for showing us around today, Bill. No problem. Y'all have a good one. Mm -hmm. Thanks.